Tea Party marked this year's tax day by forming protests across America. Some gathered in Washington, D.C., others in Boston and elsewhere. One protest was held in Hudsonville, Michigan, a small town in Midwest Michigan and the site of several speeches. That was pretty good. Um, you know, it's hard to get people out on a weekday, and I think at its peak, uh, we were looking at, you know, well over 600. Saw one person guess 900, so, uh, yeah, I mean, this, is a, this isn't a, that, this is not that big of a town, so it's impressive to see this many people out here. Ken Braun, Mackinac Center for Public Policy. I am the managing editor of Michigan Capital Confidential. The Mackinac Center for Public Policy is a free market think tank based in Midland, Michigan. Michigan Capital Confidential is an alternative news source funded by the institution. I thought it was great. This is the first time I've ever been to an event. Uh, actually, it was a great turnout today, and the speakers were really good. And uh, um, I'm not real familiar with the Tea Party. I've just read a lot of stuff on, on uh, Facebook, and I get email from them. So I thought I'd turn out and see what it was all about. I'm Mark Kidd. I uh, live here in Hudsonville. I'd like to go to one again. Uh, I'm very impressed with the turnout and, and the speakers that they had. And uh, the one speaker from Czechoslovakia, which he came from a communist country. And actually, I, I know him kind of in a roundabout way. And actually, he was smuggled into this country and gained his freedom, so he knows both sides of uh, being under suppression from communism and what freedom is. Born in communist Czechoslovakia, Thomas Kosmak defected to Greece in 1989, right before the Berlin Wall fell. He immigrated to the United States in 1990 and became a citizen in 2003. Well, my biggest concern that I didn't even get to mention up there at this little speech is that uh, uh, I, I see very uh, large parallels here in the United States with the current political uh, climate, with the current government, the current president in office, uh, parallels with the uh, uh, country where I used to live in, the, Ch the communist Czechoslovakia, and I uh, became very concerned. For some, it's difficult to tell if the Tea Party is an offshoot of the conservative movement, or if it is its own entity. Regardless, the question of where it'll go from here remains. I think it's a, a little of both. I believe that it is an offshoot, but also I think it stands on its own as far as taxation um, and the ri raising of taxes. And unemployment was a big issue here, too. I mean, we can't ta tax ourselves into prosperity. I mean, we're taxing us ourselves out of jobs. Okay. Just like Michigan State is trying to raise more taxes because they don't have enough for their budget, more people are leaving. Well, the biggest hurdle they have is uh, they've already gotten over it. They're getting out here and they're getting together and they're um, seeing that there might be a need to do some collective action with each other. Um, deciding what to do with this energy is, I guess, the next thing. But the hardest hurdle was getting together, and I think over the last year they've shown they can do that. Um, staying on one voice, uh, I believe, uh, that they have you know, a certain platform that they're going on right now is taxation that they continue to do that and and because it's it's not republican democrat independent it's everybody that goes to these things it's not you know it's not just republicans it's anybody that has the same view as what uh the tea party has as far as taxation and losing of freedom i think it leans more to an individualistic thing i mean if you look Certainly, there's a lot of folks out of here who have social issue concerns. You know, I seem to be a couple right to life things here today and, uh, and the like. But I think there are people of all different social stripes that show up at these events. And if you look at the flag they chose, yeah, you know, it's 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 not a it's not an abortion flag. It's not an anti-immigrant flag. They chose a flag that says "Leave us alone." You know, don't tread on me is the banner that they're rallying under. They care about how big the government is and how it's getting out of control. And, um, you know, the day that problem's fixed is the day they'll, you'll, you'll see this, these crowds dissipate, I think. It won't have anything to do with any of the other extraneous issues that are often hung on this movement.